Welcome to Insurrection Field in Brain, Washington, BS, home of the Cadavers. Cadavers? That name sucks. I prefer it when they were called the Deadskins. Why did they just rename the team the Brain, Washington, Physically Challenged Skins? Why the embalmed with all natural ingredient skins? Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Malice Hellboys take on the Brain, Washington Cadavers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. And MFL Game Day is on the air. Grim Blitzrow and my partner Brickhead Mulligan and Mini Bricks. Heard you got a little touch of the mutant bird and pig flu. How you feeling, partner? Well, uh, the projectile vomiting finally let up, but the uh, monsoon mudslide to be done. <laughs> if you know what I mean. I've been, oh. I've been literally cramping his brains out all night. He's getting stupider by the hour, if that's even possible. And it's first and ten. kill did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25 i didn't know that yeah right below attending bachelor parties and owning a sam schlong galaxy phone and it's first and ten and that'll give them four more downs to punish the defense and you better believe they will And it's first and ten. He grabs it and picks up four on that reception. Second down and six. Oh my gosh! The defensive player looks like he's lost his mind! That one's incomplete. Receiver couldn't get there. And yeah, neither could his mother. Third down and six. Defense holds him to a four-yard pickup there. And they'll line up for the punt here. The punter for today is being played by my kid's sister. No return on this punt. The defense will just down it. I can't tell if he's smart or scared. Either way, the ball is down. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. <laughs> Second down and long. Hot, hot. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. First and ten. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely in a convalescent home. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot three. Oh, man, what a throw. Blast just cleared the field for these rumbling and stumbling. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. And the runner is moving crazy fast. Look at the ball. Oh, the defender almost picked up the ball on that one. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. And he just, oh man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're gonna hit a guy that hard, you should at least kill him. Do him a favor. Finish him. And it's.
It's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot eight. Oh, great catch! And that's a touchdown! Touchdown! Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. He's not going down. Caught for the first down. You want to get some fun on your time. and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. A great throw and a great... Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Only with them. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. And they stack the line and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. And he was steering a pick six but dropped the interception. Yeah, that's why he's on defense, schmuck. Third down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot. You ever get hit in the head with a boat all grim? Nope. Well, I have fun. The ref calls a penalty. You know, the NFL has eliminated almost every penalty in the rule book, and yet it still feels like there's way too many penalties. Stupid jerks. You guys suck. Yeah. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Eight. Not much there. Maybe a yard. Wow, he took like a thousand volts of shock there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Ford and the ex murderer. Did the shock treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. Hot two. Hot. They could not connect on that play. Third down and nine. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Eight. That, my friends, was an all. Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the refs didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, eight. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. Hey, remember that skeleton lap dance the you had at that totally bone strip club west. last year, Graham? <laughs> yeah, she says for 20 bucks, I'll take it all off. I didn't know she met her head. That was uh, kind of weird. Yeah. 
And here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Just catch it, run it back, and don't die. And it's first and ten. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And that'll be second down and four. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. That's the end of quarter one. Well, the good news is there's still time to make it a game. And there's still time to get a beer. And it's first and ten. That ball just sliced through the defense like butter. I wish the... Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. First and ten. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. He's at the 40. Here comes the defense. He's at the 20. And he put the Jets on and caught him from behind. First down and nine. Hot, hot one. Hot. And that's just a great run for a touchdown. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room it goes right through yeah like a double step burrito from taco hell the best kind of kick is when it's right after a score hey speak for yourself i'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring and he just slipped away like a greased pig NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Well, the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They had the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. I've seen this guy run through a brick wall. He loves paying. First down. And it's first and ten. 
And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have it's pretty hard to hold on to a ball when your brain, heart, and central nervous system stop functioning. So I can't really blame this guy for the fumble. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot three. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot, hot. Man, what a hit that was. Third down and eight. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Blow up the defense today. <laughs> he was right. You know, sometimes the best thing to do is just punt and let your defense get the ball back. And he put all of his foot into that one. And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and ten. He took a beast boost injection. Now watch him stop all over his opponents. I want to take a beast boost injection too. And now that is now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> But, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Murphy Brown! What? Uh, I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new... Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off-season. <laughs> you want to do some fun on your time. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot... If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and five. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. Boom to the moon! Another loser bites the dust. In the MFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. Third down and five. Hot, hot one, hot. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really fit it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What? And that's why they call it the money shot. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore, Grim. <laughs> the offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing-only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it! First and four. Hot, hot one, hot. At this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than completion. Oh, mama, he just knocked him into the next time zone. Is that right, Grim? That penalty makes no sense. If something ain't 
kosher here, and I'm not talking about the corned beef with extra mayo. First and two. Defense says enough of this BS and jumps off sides to lay waste to the referee. Way to go, guys. First down and one. Hot, hot one, hot two. And he just nailed him right on the numbers for a touchdown. Now this reminds me of a lap dance I had by a skeleton once. Oh yeah, after the main ball, that clock 16 under. Yeah, I could smell a bone there on me when I got home. Big trouble. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. First and ten. And that's another pick. Man, oh man, the defense is going to have more receptions. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. First and ten. Four yards on that one. And he was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. smokes he just killed that player with a cheap shot that's why we love the mfl smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot third down and a sliver when it feels like to have your teeth removed without knowing and that's a hell of a cheap shot <laughs> gotta love it the offense has no running backs left so they will lose all running plays in their playbook and they take their first time out well, how predictable surprise us next time call the time out there in halftime and it's first and ten You've got to catch that. Second down and ten. Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And the offense goes into the hurry-up formation to try to conserve time. Ouch! What is this, Andy's? Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of that constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. This guy has a nice set of hands, Grim. It's the third set of hands he's had so long today. Looks like it's a good fit. QB decides to throw the ball away. Uh, 
I'd be impressed if he splits the uprights from this far away, Bricks. Yeah, if he doesn't, they're going to split his skull wide open. It's good. The kicker's going to have to kick the ball just right so his team can recover it. They usually only talk about kickers when they win or lose games. Well, this guy just earned his paycheck. Which is typically the amount the quarterback tips on dinner. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if oh, my God, a man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. Offense wants to speed things up, so it signals a hurry up. Yeah, same as Bricks' ex girlfriend signaled when they were doing it. Yeah, she called it rabbit sex. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. Bingo, bingo. I just hit that mutant bingo. And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck. Boy, these guys are going to need to pull off a huge comeback in the second half to win this game. Here comes the kickoff. We're the coast. Why do we even come back here and bother? This is a waste of our time. Yeah, if only one team is going to show up, why should we have to? When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked down? you got to love a player who goes down fighting. And that's a fumble recovery in return for a touchdown. What a great defensive play. <laughs> the burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. It's good. <laughs> They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Hot one. Hot. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Well, of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. Second down and ten. Hot, hot one. Hot two. Hot. They called a warp speed dirty trick. He's so fast, he watches 60 minutes and 60 seconds. Hey, man, you see that? That's right, you can't handle this. You can't handle what I got. Yeah, get the hell out of here, man. Third down and, well, good luck. Hot one, hot two, hot three. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Ballsy? Stupid, maybe? I guess we'll decide after we see how this goes. But probably stupid. And he's off to the races! Look at that! And whoever said never hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there! <laughs> And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. Oh, now the offense is getting killed. Oh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor.
Well, that's a strange penalty called right there. I'm starting to notice that this ref likes talking, and he don't make much sense. No, but he's making a lot of dollars. First and goal. The defense had enough with this ref and jumps off sides to kill him. <laughs> First and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So was that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Oh, and that's how you play defense. Of course, he, he could have had an interception, returned it for a touchdown, and changed the entire game, but I don't want to nitpick. I do. The guy should have fucking caught it. And he's running like a moose right now. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. First down and five. throwing a pick. Second down and five. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, and that's what it feels like to have your teeth removed without Novocaine. First and ten. That ball was almost intercepted. Second down and ten. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know almost throw intercepted. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like they might consider calling a kill the ref play. Just saying. <laughs> Second down and inch it. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. The QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he'd probably have an intercepted, though. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Brex. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Brex. You're an idiot. for the extra point. Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. hit 
And it's first and ten. Freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, still working on my salami here, Bricks. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Brain Washington wins by forfeit. The Cadavers will take the win any way they can get it. And killing is just as good as scoring touchdowns. There's not much left of the opposition, and the fans are loving it. There was only one way this game was going to end, and that was in a forfeit. That's not quite true, Grim. The alien spacecraft could have crashed into the stadium and ended the game. Oh, how about it? How about if you shut the hell up right now? We go down to the field and listen to what the MVP has to say. Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stands are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.